Hi, this is Don, and I have a problem that you might see on a test or exam. This has to do with calculating the probability of exceeding some value or being different than some value. And it's tempting when you see this to say, well, I can just use the StatCrunch calculator to determine this probability. But there's a catch to it. And the hint you should see is that you're given the mean height of the population of, in this case, women ages 20 to 29, 64.4, a random sample, which tells you again that this is more than likely a normal distribution of 75, and a sigma, which is the population standard deviation of 2.68. And they ask, what is the probability that the mean height of the sample is greater than 65 inches? I'm going to show you the wrong way to solve this using StatCrunch first. Let's click on StatCrunch. Bring it down so we can see the data. We'll go to Stat, Calculator, Normal. Okay. The mean of the population is 64.4 and we have to enter a standard deviation. Well they give you a standard deviation 2.68. Tempting just to enter that 2.68 and we want to know the probability of being greater than 65 inches. I'm going to set this to the greater than and it calculates and it shows 41%. Is that the right answer? Bring it down. No. They say 0 .0263. What did we do wrong? Well, again, the clue is right here that we've got a random sample of 75. This is the population standard deviation, 2.68, not the sample standard deviation. If you recall, the sample standard deviation can be calculated from the population standard deviation by dividing it by the square root of the sample size. You have to remember that we are given the mean of the population, not the sample, and the standard deviation of the population not the sample. And in order to use the probability, the normal probability calculator, we need to have the sample mean and the sample standard distribution. Let's bring up Excel, since that's my favorite calculator. And because we've got a sample size greater than 30, we can use the central limit theorem, which says the mean of the sample, x mu x bar, is equal to the mean of the population. And it also says that the st standard deviation, sigma sub x bar, is equal to the standard deviation of the population sigma divided by the square root of the sample size, n. So I've put the data in this Excel, n of 75, the population standard deviation of 2.68, and I'm going to calculate the sigma sub x bar for the sample, and we use this formula, B6, which is the sigma of the population, divided by the square root of the n, 75. And that gives us a sigma sub x bar of 0 0.30946. And you'll see if we go back to StatCrunch, bring it down here, this time we go to Stat, calculators normal and again our mean is of the sample this time is equal to the mean of the population 64.4 the sample standard deviation is 0 0.30946 and we want to know the probability of being greater than 65 inches Calculate that, and it's 0 0.0263. Let's see if that's the answer they got. 
son of a gun. So don't get tricked up by that. Remember that when we're using the normal calculator for sample, we have to have the sample mean, which if you've got greater than 30 for an n, means that the sample mean is equal to the population mean. And also you can use that formula, the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n to get the sample standard deviation. Now you can use StatCrunch and the rest of the data to come up with the probability.